in Stanford, and I think I now finally call that home. It's in a place called Baston, which is on the A15 between Peterborough and Bournemouth. This is a difficult question, because I wouldn't want anyone to necessarily know the answer, but I think I enjoy a glass of wine and a few beers with friends and family, and sometimes probably the uh, numbers that we all work towards maybe get exceeded a little bit more than they should do. I follow the economics and the politics of the world very well, so Winston Churchill would be unbelievably interesting. If uh, temperatures rise by another 2%, there will be major changes to flooding and the world's climate. The government developers are going to need to look at sustainability in terms of flood risk resilience and use of non-fossil fuels. Trained as a scientist through my early years, I did a degree in chemistry, probably it would have been in that kind of field where I would have carried on my career. I think the, um, the birth of my three children would be very high up there, meeting my wife. So I would say both of those are my proudest moments. I think the toughest moment has been dealing with the two recessions I've had in my career. So during those period, it really shows how, how you cope in, in really adverse scenarios. I'm Carl Hick, I'm the Chief Exec of the Lark Frequent Companies. 